actually, and people kind of get, you know, go back and forth with me and go, how do you, why do you think it's just after the rapture? Well, because in this dispensation, God really doesn't intervene for Israel. I mean, he gave the church all authority, and he, he doesn't really intervene. So the, the second the church is gone, he intervenes for Israel, and you don't see that in, under this covenant. I mean, Germany killed six million Jews and prospered, uh, so uh, there's no intervention. Well, after the church is gone, we, we have all authority, so we have to be taken off the earth. So then he intervenes like Old Covenant, because it's seven years of Old Covenant time, and boy, you talk about intervening. 82 percent is, is pushed back, and it says so that the heathen may know that he is God. So uh, it's an interesting how things change from the church age to old covenant style. And boy, that, that's why America says, "Are you come to take a spoil?" And uh, in, in the church age, when we're here, we, we probably say, "Hey, if you try to go after Israel, we'll protect Israel." But I think half of America will probably be gone by then. That's just my thinking, and I think that's what preaches to me. I would love to see. Oh, this is terrible. I'd love to be able to see that. I think we might be here for Isaiah 17 1, Damascus being removed from being a city. We might see that. As far as Ezekiel 38, I have a tendency to think that it happens after we leave because of this set of occurrences. But literally, it's like God taking the gloves off and, and protects Israel like never before. Well, you mentioned these, the, the church being removed, and you, you've been doing this. You're a, you're a Bible prophecy expert who's been doing this full time, just focused on Bible prophecy. Was it four decades, nearly a quarter of a century now? Well, that's been like your primary focus. It's interesting to me that there's the ebbs and flows of the church's eschatology over decades that I've been able to witness. And certain things kind of rise in popularity at a certain period of time, and then they die back down. And it seems like right now there's this surge of this anti-rapture, anti-blessed hope, <laughs> ideology.